Hey there, Charlie here. Great to see you again, man. How you doing? Ah, oh, that's great to hear. So listen, I just wanted to tell you about two great questions that I got in the comment sections of my previous videos. Nada was wondering, why do some flowers close their petals at night? And Casey was wondering like pretty much the same thing. She asked, why do some flowers open up with the sun during the day and close at night? Nada, Casey, thank you guys so much for your questions. I love answering your science questions, particularly when they're about plants. And I have just like a terrific answer that I can't wait to share with you guys. But before that, I'd like to share something else that I've been thinking about with everyone. How about that spin, huh? All right, so guys, I love answering your nature questions in these videos, but I was thinking it would be great if I could answer more than one question per video. So I'd like to try something new, and I think with your help, it could be a, a pretty awesome thing. Great, okay, so here's, let's, we're gonna just do it. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna suggest a topic like hibernation, or narwhals, or uh, pickle cultivation. I don't know. And then you guys could ask any question you have about that topic in the comments. Then I could take like a bunch of those questions and then mash them together in one nice little video. I might not get to all of them, but I'll definitely get to as many as I possibly can. Great, so I think we got the idea. <clears throat> Time to introduce our first topic. Uh, that's, that's a drum roll. Penguins. Penguins are slippery blob type aquatic birds that enjoy snow and ice. That's a nice like wintry topic pertinent to this time of year. So if you have any penguin related questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Like how do penguins stay warm? What is the largest penguin to ever live? Has a penguin ever eaten a cupcake? Do we have the hard evidence to prove it? I'll pick a handful of them to address in my next video. But it's not actually gonna be the next video. Here we are in this video, there's gonna be an in-between video, and then there's gonna be the penguin video. Cool, very cool, excellent, great, awesome, great, nice. So, uh, penguin questions in the comments. Also be sure to click that red little subscribe button below and to the right of this video, and also click that little bell so you guys can be notified when the penguin response video's up. Wow, you guys are just the best. Thanks for listening to that. Now let's go back to the question about flowers, cause like, right, that's what this uh, video's about. So let, let's talk about it. All right, so why are some flowers uh, open up during the day and then they close at night? Rather than just like spill something that I read online, I thought it would be much more interesting if I uh, brought in a few experts, you know? A couple friends who uh, might know a little bit more about it than I do. Some of the flowers that live right outside. Bam, these flowers right here, right outside the very real fairy tale cottage where I totally live. Great idea, Charlie. Let's see if they're around. Hello, flowers, are you there? Flowers! Boop ba boop ba ba doo boop boop, we're flowers. Ooh ooh ooh, yeah. Ah, oh, you're so pretty. Ah, oh, you're so pretty. We're, we're all so pretty! Ah! Uh, hi. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Hello, human man. What do you want? Yeah, my friends have a question that I was wondering if uh, you guys could answer. Hmm. Fine. Yeah? Maybe. We're very pretty flowers, you know. Very busy pretty flowers. With plenty of pretty things to do today. So we might not have time for your silly questions. Well, it's, it's about you guys. Hmm, hmm. That's rather pretty. A very pretty thing. Fine. Speak up, human man. What do you want to know? My friends are wondering why some flowers... Pretty flowers. Oh, sorry. Pretty flowers. Much better. Close their petals at night and then open up during the day. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Well, should we tell him about yesterday? Last night? So tragic. Devastating. Perfect. What's your name, human man? Charlie. That's not pretty enough. Some people call me Charles. We'll call you the Sunshine Sparkle Maiden. But I'm a guy, though. Who cares? So, Sunshine, yesterday morning, we woke up. As we do. All perfect and pretty. We're flowers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The sun rose. A rooster crowed. And we opened our petals to the world. Wow, so pretty. We know! Ah! We spent the day with our new neighbor, Lily the Lily. Lily's very pretty. The Lily's name is Lily. Sparkles! Yeah? Don't interrupt. Sorry. These are pollinators, pretty ones, that love our pollen because it's pretty and perfect. So they fly and pick up our pollen on these parts right here. Now the importance of these pollen parts is practically impalpable. Oh. 
Yeah, I know about this. All right, guys, these are the parts of the flower that they're saying are super important, right? This is like the stigma and the anther of the flower. They hold the pollen. They are the reproductive parts of the flower. This part right here can develop into seeds and fruit and things like that. All you need to know that they're just like super important, right? Shush, maiden. Sorry. The day was perfect. Positively. Precisely. The pollinators visited. Lily was just a peach of a new neighbor. Such a gas. And the night fell. The pollinators left. The sun set. A wolf howled at the moon. Ow. So pretty. We bid Lily good night and we closed up our flowers. But Lily stayed open. Well, she's a lily sunshine. She can't close her petals like we can. Yeah, oh, okay. That makes sense. The night was peaceful, placid, and pretty. But what was that? Just beyond the horizon, a giant storm cloud coming this way! Oh no! Ah! It rained for hours and hours. Us pretty flowers were pummeled with raindrops for the entire evening. And when the morning came, it was truly not a pretty sight. What happened? Sunshine sparkles. It was the worst thing imaginable. The sun rose. The rooster crowed once more. And we opened our petals to the world. All was fine until we heard a terrible cry. Ah! It was Lily the Lily. Don't look at me. I'm hideous. The pummeling rain was too much for her to handle. It damaged her flower. Her anthers were bent. Her stigma was snapped. She was no, no longer pretty. Ah! Lily. It was too much to bear. All right, I think I got it. So because you guys can close your petals, you can protect your pollen parts, like your stigma and anther from the rain, kind of almost like a shield. But Lily can close her petals, so uh, she got damaged. Precisely. So it's a way of protecting yourself. Like from the rain. Rain, snow, wind, herbivores, anything that can really damage us at night. Huh, that's super interesting. Yes. What happened to Lily? Well, she was pruned in the morning. Ooh, I'm very sorry uh, for your loss. It's very kind of you, Sunshine Sparkle Maiden. All right, well, uh, thanks for your time. I'm going to let you go because I know you're very busy flowers. Very busy, pretty flowers. Yes, very pretty flowers. So, uh... I'm gonna let you go. Well, ta-ta, sunshine! Ta-ta, flowers! Swing by for a chat sometime. Just ask for the pretty flowers. Ma! Ah! <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> Great! Wow! Some flowers have evolved to close their petals at night to protect themselves, almost like a shield, from things like rain or wind or snow or stuff like that. What a day, right? We got some answers and uh, we met some new friends. If you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and our friends of flowers, man, it would be great if you could subscribe by clicking the subscribe button a little bit below and perhaps a teensy bit to the right of this screen and also clicking the uh, bell button right there. I love making these videos for you. I love answering your guys' questions. I love meeting some new friends like the flowers. So pretty! Ah! And subscribing is just like the simplest way for you guys to show me that you like it as well. So just click that button right down there. As we wrap up this video, there are a couple shout outs that I would like to provide real quick. There are three people in particular that I would like to thank in this video. Amelia Ascari and Gutierrez. And last, but certainly not least, Ryan Amon. These three fantastic, super awesome, really incredible, terrific people are uh, brand new contributors to my Patreon page. So Amelia and Ryan, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Patreon is a website that's kind of like Kickstarter where you can support creative people and their projects. And in exchange for just like a couple dollar donation a month, you can get some really fantastic perks, like being featured at the end of these videos, like these three awesome people. And oh my gosh, wow. All of these people too. This is everybody who's ever donated to my Patreon page. Thank you guys, you're the best. Patreon and super people like these people are really just like some of the greatest help for small creators like me who uh, really love doing this, but don't really make any money off YouTube. <laughs> There's not a dime rolling in guys. We are scraping the bottom of the barrel here, boys. <laughs> Uh, but thank you guys, for real. Thank you guys for the support. It's really very truly, truly helpful. Okay, all right guys, down to business. Stop messing around. Now it's business time. Mm -mm -mm. Got any penguin questions? Bam, leave them in the comments. If you'd like to check out the Patreon page, bam, direct link, click this. How about that service? If you'd like to subscribe, bam, click here. And hey, here's another terrific video for you guys to watch. This, click this, uh, this rectangle. It'll take you right there. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. You're terrific. I'll see you in the next one.